Hello and welcome back to another calendar lesson with me, your teacher. And I'm gonna try to, sorry, I'm playing with my picture. Let me move it over here, okay. So what you should have is your pencil so that you are ready. I'm gonna try to make this a little brighter. So last week we discussed, and I hope you've opened up to August. Sorry, I didn't say that to begin with. But we discussed how the beginning of this calendar book starts with January because the actual year, so 2020, began in January. Now, sometimes, and even for me too, um, I call the beginning of the year when school starts because that tends to be the beginning of our year. But in the rest of the world, the beginning of the year is in January. And so that's why all of your calendars will start with January. So we have to go all the way into the book to find August. We know August is the eighth month, so it should be the eighth page in your book. If we recall the days of the week that we highlighted at the top, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Do you guys know the, um, the one from the Adams Family? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. The Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Okay, so just for a little fun there. So we, um, you'll notice that Mrs. Smith put them in rainbow order because it's important in a rainbow to have your colors in order and it's important in a calendar to have your days of the week in order. So that just made sense to me. We filled in to the number nine. Why is the number one over here on a Saturday instead of over here in the first square of the month? That's right. That's because each month is going to begin on a different day because not all months have exactly the same number of days in them. So for instance, August has 31, um, January has 31, and June only had 30. So, and then sometimes um, February has 29 and sometimes it has 28, depending on if it's the fourth year or the leap year, it's all crazy. So what we have to know is when we're starting a new month, it's not always going to be where we think it should be. This particular month, August, began on Saturday, and we just moved it all the way over here to the first Saturday of this, of this calendar page. Now, what, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to continue on, and I want you to fill in all the way until you get to the number 31. So I'm going to write down the number 31. Where am I going to put it? Oh, you know what? Mrs. Smith can write on her thing. Let's see if she can't make this happen, huh? Oh, look at that, Mrs. Smith. This is the number 31. Be careful that you don't do the number 13. Oh, it's gone. I want it to come back. Where did it go? Huh. Let's see if can't get it to stay. That's very strange, guys. I don't know why it goes away, but um, what I'll have to do is over here, I'm just going to write down the number 31. There we go. And they can't make that go away. So the number 31 looks like that. Be careful that you don't write a 13. The 13 has the one in front. This one is a 31. So we have to start with a three for the 30. And so please go from nine to 31. I'm going to pause my video and fill in mine. So you should pause your video now, that way you can fill yours in. It's okay to get it wrong. You're going to check it with mine. If I recall from last year, we had probably, um, we had at least, oh, Mrs. Smith's brain is, is very off today. Um, 
we had quite a few days, uh, quite a few times that we did calendar where we, um, we had to fix them and make little changes. Now I'll warn you, this one is tricky. So you may not be able to know how to do the number 31, but don't worry, I'm going to show you. Okay, see you in a moment. And we're back. Okay, so you may have noticed that this got tricky. Okay, so what we did was we did 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we went all the way back over to the left, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Now look at these two squares. Notice how Mrs. Smith put a line through them, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Then I went back over here to 30 and 31. So you might ask yourself, why didn't we just put them here at the end? Well, think about what happens each time we start a new row. If each time we come to the end of the row here, do I just keep going off to the side or do I go all the way back to the beginning? I go all the way back over here to the left. So our, our strategy is to continue going back to the left as if we had a, another line here. And so this is where 30 and 31 go. Make sure that you pause me now so that you can create these different kinds of squares and make sure you add 30 and 31. Okay. All right, so I hope you paused me so that you could do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a series of questions and I'm going to, um, I'm going to mark down my own answers. That way I can answer them after we're done. So I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay, and what I want you to do is I want you to say them out loud and then at the, um, and then I will give you the answer so you can check them. Okay. Number one, what day of the week is the 6th of August? What day of the week was the 6th of August? Find the 6th of August. Go all the way up to the day of the week. What day of the week was it? Thursday. Thursday. Very good. What day of the week was the 16th of August? What day of the week was the 16th of August? Here's the 16th. Go all the way up. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday was the 16th. All right. Next one. Tell me what number was on the third Monday of this month. The third Monday. What date is the third Monday? Okay. First step, go to Monday. Next step, go to the first Monday with a number. This is still July, it's not August. Now go to the third one. First, second, third. What was the date for the third Monday? The 17th. Okay, next question. Tell me what date or what number was the fourth Saturday? The fourth Saturday. Go to Saturday. Go to the first Saturday with the number. It's right here. Now count first, second, third, fourth. Which day was the fourth Saturday? That's right, the 22nd. Okay, now we're going to add two important dates to our calendar. We're going to add, actually, I'm sorry, three of them. So what I'd like you to do is to make this line across it and write this sentence. Do you know what it says? 
That's the day you either met me on this day or this day. I met Mrs. Smith. So either this day or this day you met me. They were either Wednesday the 12th or Thursday the 13th of August. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do for today on our calendar is we're going to mark back to school night. Back to school night is the fourth Thursday of this month. The fourth Thursday. Go to Thursday. Go to the first Thursday with a number and count to the fourth. First, second, third, fourth. The 27th is back to school night. Okay, so you can always pause me now so that you can finish filling in your calendar. Do you have a birthday in August? Do you have a family member with a birthday in August? You can put your family member's birthday on this calendar. Do you have an important date coming up? Do you want to go to the calendar that you have in your kitchen that your family uses and fill in your calendar with a little bit of the information that you have going on with your family? I love that. You want to put this calendar up near your learning space so that you can play calendar and, and it's more of an office that way, just like mom and dad? Um, I would love that. All of that is okay with me. In fact, I'll add one of Mrs. Smith's family's birthday, my sister's birthday, her name is Kara. Her birthday is the 26th, which is today. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.